Christmas twins. So it just went to Primark. Mm -mm -mm. Can't wait. So good. Wow. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> we all hope you're well um oh wait actually is it okay no it's actually 12 50 um not morning my version of morning when i have a day off <laughs> um i am vlogging today because i have a day off and we're just gonna do something nice and go into the town center uh not doing anything like crazy but i just thought it'd be nice to maybe do a little like come shop with me spend the day with me kind of vlog I love watching these so I thought I would take you along with me. Don't mind Josh in the background <laughs> playing Xbox. Um, I've just set up my very chaotic makeup station at his house because I'm going to get ready to go out. Um, and I just wanted to show you this step of my makeup because I recently did a NARS um, makeup tutorial and I tested out this foundation and since then I've watched a lot of tutorials who have said that it's actually good to apply it with your hands so I thought today even though it feels like an absolute sin um I thought I'd try it so I'm gonna show you on camera I'll take out my nose piercing um how it goes um yeah so I'm just gonna do one pump it says work with one pump at a time um and I'm just gonna start working it into the face I guess it's actually spreading really nicely with my fingers i thought it would go all like patchy also i said this was a light coverage foundation um in my tutorial it's not it's like medium to high i think for me anyway i just assumed because it was a watery formula that it was um low coverage but it's really not so we're just gonna go into peaceborough town center today um because we don't really go very often um and there's a few things that i want to get um a few like accessories and stuff and i just fancy a bit of a browse in the shops you know like i haven't been able to do that for ages and i actually am one of those people that really likes going into a shop and trying stuff on okay so this takes a while to um work into the skin but once you do i actually think i prefer this finish to the brush it's so natural but it has given me like coverage like you can't really see that well but it really hasn't like settled into my pores or anything okay i'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then i will get back to you later so i'm ready finally oh sun there's something there um i wanted to show you my outfit um but it was like raining really hard when we got in the car and now literally two minutes later it's like full sunlight so um typical english weather for you there um so i'll try and show you when we get there but i try to go for like a casual chic kind of look so i've got like a jumper and a blazer i try to do that bun that everyone does on tiktok you know that's like the you can't really see but it's like the bella hadid bun i mean not really matching up but you know we try we try half one now so a bit of a slow start to the day but I'm gonna have some fun also is anyone else really sad that they didn't win molly may's giveaway like i knew i wasn't gonna win i knew i wasn't gonna win but also like there was a tiny bit of me that was like am i gonna win this is my outfit of the day just got this hoodie from boohoo this blazer oh it's from h&m actually where we are right now these are also boohoo air force and cute little bag from boohoo so i'm pretty much repping boohoo at the moment and obviously face mask face mask twins so i saw this top on instagram and i thought it was really cute and i kind of think i might get it but i don't know if it's like cute or cringy because maybe the no hate club's a bit cringy but then look I don't know, it's really cute. It's only $3.99. I just did it. How cute are these shoes? They look so like high-end. But I feel like then how much are they? 
for $24.99. They literally look like the Defo designer dupes, aren't they? They also, look like bread. They look like, oh, Josh thinks they look like bread. To be fair, they actually, they look like plaited bread, yeah. I also think these shoes are really cool. They're like, they're a dupe of um, the Puma Fenties, aren't they? Fenty Puma. Just heading into Primark now, and I'm so excited because I've not been in so long. And Josh absolutely hates it. <laughs> but, um, I used to do Primark picks every month on my blog and it's been so long since I've been able to do it properly so um, I'm going to do a few now and see what they got in. you know when you just like need those tiny things and you just you don't want to get them from anywhere else except for Primark because it's just so cheap and so good so I'll show you those later but we're gonna go for food now um, currently deciding where to go we think it might have to be a Nando's job because not been to Nando's in literally ages I actually think it's been about a year since I've been to Nando's I don't know about you, no, you've probably been, but... I went just for close. So, yeah, might have to go there. So, because of um, COVID and the situation, you have to order, like, on the table, like, you have to scan the QR code, and they bring everything to you, including the drinks, so we've realised that you can't do that hack anymore, where you order water, but you just get an unlimited drink. So they basically, they finessed the finessers because now we can't do it. So um, I just got normal banter anyway, but you know, I actually had to pay for it this time. I'm just joking by the way guys, I don't actually do that, I do pay for my food. Rate my order guys. I actually got something quite different than what I usually get, but I got the bonus thighs coleslaw which was very rogue from me and then chips and i got medium for all you judgmental people out there so it's not completely plain and then josh got the thighs as well and he got peri peri chips rice i got um, chips with peri salt yeah <laughs> yeah do you want do you want any chips with that salt um and then we got some hot wings because we want to live life on the edge today don't we mm -mm -mm. Can't wait. Josh is gonna try the wings first because I'm I'm too much of a pussy. Mm. How is it? Is it hot? Not hot? Is it hot? Would I think it's hot though? A little bit, but <laughs> not too bad. Um, it's all right. I'm scared. Oh, it's quite hot actually. <laughs> <laughs> you saw it hit, yeah? <laughs> you could sell this for a lot of money. <laughs> so I just wanted to do a little mini haul of what I got today. Um, I'm in my parents' room because we have roadworks going on outside our house and it's literally so loud in my room. But yeah, this wasn't like a proper shop um, because I'm not spending money at the moment but this was just like a few essentials and things that I needed or wanted that were really cheap um so the first thing I got in H&M um I did get that top that cute little no hate club top um I was like mm, is it cute is it cringy but I decided to get it and it was literally $3.99 I think with just like blue jeans or maybe even like pattern trousers it's just like a cute little throw on top and I thought it, well I thought it was cute anyway so I got that 
Next in Primark, um, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't that impressed with the stuff in Primark. Like I was so excited to go. And then when I got in, I, it, it just felt like it was 96% cardigan. And like, they were all pretty much the same cardigan. So I wasn't really inspired, but I did get some staples. Um, so I got a clean cotton diffuser. Yeah, I got a clean cotton diffuser for my room because I absolutely love clean cotton smells. Um, and I don't actually have anything like smelly in my room at the moment because um, a lot of them give me headaches, but I, I know something like this like won't because it's like a fresh scent. It says white, lilac and amber. That was three pounds. You could also get like a smaller version um, for literally a pound, um, but I thought I may as well get the big one because it lasts up to eight weeks. I also got just literally a staple um, clear lip gloss. Yeah, I just got that because I don't have like a really high gloss lipstick. So I was thinking like I just could get this and I could put on lipstick and then put the gloss on the top. Um, gloss is just such a mood at the moment. So definitely needed one of those. Lastly, I went to Boots um, and that was to get some stuff for a video that I'm planning to do. So it's just my hair stuff. So I got this um, stuff, like hair gel basically. This pot of hair gel, uh, which was like 3 99 It's quite a big pot. I see people use this quite a lot, so I figured it was quite good. Mm -hmm. um, and then I got this ginormous hair mask slash leave-in conditioner that loads of people have been talking about and saying it smells oh my god <laughs> that smells so good wow um it's called hair food and i've heard really good things about this so you can basically use it either as a conditioner like condition in the shower or as a mask or as a leave-in conditioner and that's what i'm planning on using it for or i'll probably use it as a mask as well but can't wait to use that. It smells stunning. Last but not least, again, just another basic. But I got one of these claw clips because I see people style their hair, you know, with the claw clip and it's like kind of coming out the top um, all the time recently. And I really want to try it and I just didn't have one of these clips. So I thought I'd get it. Um, and I thought this one was really cute. I like the, because I nearly got a black one and I thought this was like nice, like tortoise shell. I actually don't know if this is like big enough for my hair. Because I have really thick hair and I'm wondering if this is actually going to hold it all. So I'm not really sure about that, but we'll see. So yeah, that was basically all I got. So just like kind of boring things to be honest, but things that I needed to get. I'm not buying any clothes at the moment. So then like I can do a proper haul when I actually do return, make my glorious return to the shops. Josh is trying to get me to do a workout now and he literally tries to get me to do workouts all the time but I'm honestly I've become so lazy like you know when you get out of it and then you just like once you stop doing it for like a little bit you just really can't be bothered <sighs> yeah you're in that phase so and I still feel I don't know about you but I still feel so so full from Nando's that's perfect on train. It's got energy. Look, I also want to sleep. <laughs> the Nando's was so good, by the way, but we were literally... Sorry about the roadworks, by the way. Um, We were literally stuffed at the end. Like, I couldn't I couldn't finish my coleslaw, sadly. Um, But, yeah, I might do a mini workout. No. We will do a normal we'll workout. Do a Small, <laughs> small baby workout. Um, An hour. Yeah, rest in between, um, just to finish off the day. Yay! Let's get pumped. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. <laughs> <laughs>
infinito. <laughs> Hi guys, we are just chilling right now. We were actually still really full from our uh, Nando's. So we decided not to have dinner. So instead we're having popcorn and Doritos. So um, health. Health. I had a protein shake though. Oh, Josh had a protein shake. But we're going to watch Harry Potter because it's just such a feel good film. Well, actually, actually, no, we're going to watch the last one. That's not really very feel good, is it? But the last <laughs> one's tough. one of the best ones. Um, so, yeah, just go watch that and chill. Um, that's pretty much it. When Josh eats popcorn, he literally takes the biggest handfuls and tries to fit them all, like I take it like one piece at a time and he literally, this is what he does every time. I'm trying to get that whole, can we just see how much is in that handful? Not actually that much. Okay, that's a small handful. For me. For, for Josh. Yeah. Uh, we've got to go in a little bit at a time. Go on. I can't, yeah. This is what I deal with. Animal. So we started streaming the film and um, it was just like Harry Potter. Is it Spanish? I think it's Spanish anyway. So guys, it's now the end of the day and we're going to sleep. So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog. We didn't really do anything crazy interesting, but thought it'd be nice for you to kind of spend the day with me see what it's like here in peterborough so yeah um comment like subscribe all that jazz and i will love you forever thanks for watching bye